Hello Capricorns. So this is your weekly reading, even though we far <laughs> in the week. Okay, so we're gonna start with the tarot. Let's see, let's see what's, what's going on. All right, so universe, what's the current energy between Capricorns and the person that's on Capricorn mind for April the first to the eighth? 2022 so so the current energy is the star and the king of swords okay so someone want to communicate with you i feel like they actually want to have healthy communication okay a lot of aquarius energy some of you guys are dealing with aquarius universe the person that's on capricorn mind who would like to say to aquarius i said aquarius to capricorn <laughs> ten of swords Okay, so this person want to talk about things relating to the past. Um, it could represent they probably feeling like they want closure. You see what else I'm getting? Universe, the person that's on Capricorn mind. What are they keeping hidden from Capricorn? The strength card. Okay. Um, the strength card is a sign ruled by Leo. Leo over the heart. So I feel like this is someone who's like wanting to have like a logical approach rather than an emotional approach. So they're going to be reaching out, communicating with you, but it's like, it's not going to seem like they're emotional really, but they are. Okay. It's like, it's like, it's like they want to know like, what's the real reason of you completely emotionally detaching. Okay. Even if they should already know the answer. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like this person want some um, closure, basically. Universe, the person that's on Capricorn mind. How do they feel about Capricorn? Universe, person that's on Capricorn mind. How do they feel about Capricorn? The higher fan of verse. Yeah, they feel like you completely move on. You're broken up with them. Universe, the person that's on Capricorn mind. What is their true feelings for Capricorn? Knight of Wands in the verse. Yeah, so this person can feel like there's nothing in this connection anymore. Um, and probably that's why they're they're feeling away about this. Because um, probably in the past, both of you guys was really emotionally invested. You know, they may feel like you do not love them anymore, okay? Um, universe, the person that's on Capricorn mind, what is their intentions with Capricorn? The justice and the hermit. I feel like the justice more so is more so of making peace with things. Okay. The hermit's all about um, analyzing stuff, introspection. So I feel like it's more so like them making peace because they see that you're completely done. Universe, the person that's on Capricorn mind, what actions would they take with Capricorn? The hermit. I said hermit. Um, the queen of pentacles. General energy is the six of wands. Yeah. So the six of wands, I feel like this is just them resurfacing. Okay. Which might seem attention oriented. <laughs> like they wanting your attention. They, I feel like with them, it's more so like getting that closure. Um, making peace with things. The action is the queen of pentacles. So I feel like they're going to be very respectful this time <laughs> okay so they just feel like you do not love them anymore okay that's how they feel <laughs> they feel like you have emotionally checked out and this is probably catching them by surprise because they thought that you know you guys would still like have love for them but they feel like it's done and over with <laughs> okay this person's sign could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong Aquarius energy. There's some Taurus here. There's some Leo here. There is some Aries, Libra. There's some Virgo, Sagittarius as well. Okay, let's see. So I might name it, they feel like you don't love them anymore. <laughs> okay, let's see what else I'm getting. Okay, universe, give me a four card spread. Unless just you have four Capricorn lover. I feel like you're gonna be meeting a new Scorpio. There's some Gemini here, there's some Aries. Mirror effect. No matter what happens outside of myself, I know that I'm safe. The middle way, the line between opposite opposite stream, and then this card want to come out. Let's see what this is. I got the temperance. 
I got the Emperor. Universe, give me one more card. Heal and single. Yeah, so with the single, I feel like it's more so like you broken up. But I do see love coming your way. Um, for some reason, even though I don't got no Scorpio energy here, I feel like a Scorpio coming your way. Um, but I do see new love interests. Very passionate here. Um, but the mirror effect, and I feel like with this card, that you kind of letting the past be the past. You're not letting that scar you, okay? Letting that um, get the best out of you where you're looking at love completely different. I feel like you're just seeing it from a higher perspective. And with the tempers, I feel like a lot of you guys are at balance. You're at peace with the hill, okay? Okay, so that's what I'm getting. Hey, you know, guys, can't big hearts bad. What messages do you have for Capricorn? Love, death, and loneliness. Okay, Gen energy is failure. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of you guys feel like something is done and over with, and they feel it too, okay? Um, for the other Capricorns, so this part I'm going to apply to so many Capricorns, but for a few, the universe wants you to know, like, whatever they had to end, it had to end, okay? We are humans. We do get emotionally attached, <laughs> but it's okay when something had to be let go of, okay? Um, everything happened for a reason, basically. So let's see what else I'm getting. Okay, I'm going to three cards for the person that's on Capricorn Mind. We would like to say to Capricorn. Okay. So you guys have relationship, health, growth, and, and envy. Okay, so I feel like with them, they may say they feel like you have emotionally checked out. They might even say that you have outgrown them. You're way more mature. Um, I feel like this is someone who's admiring you too at the same time. It's like they wish that they could have like grow at the same pace as you um i feel like this is kind of waking them up though okay um they also may say that probably this was the best relationship that they ever have they might still be possessive of you of like you dating new people you in a new connection new relationship okay let's see here Hey universe, give me a four card spread. How much does you have for Capricorn? Ace of Cups, the Fool, okay. Four of Wands, financial material change, and spiritual strength. Ooh, okay. So if you guys are working in a new place, a new environment, new company, or you have a new business in a new area, I feel like you're going to be meeting someone very soon, okay? Um, here, I got the Ace of Cups, the full four wands. These are Aries energy. We're in Aries season, so that's why probably the Aries energy keep coming through. It could be an Aries too, um, or a Scorpio. But I feel like it's gonna be meeting someone very soon, very exciting, very passionate. Okay. Um, but this is also your energy too. I feel like you guys are very excited for the future, very passionate about what you're doing. Okay, so that's good. these cards want to show up queen and rebel yes so you're doing things differently in your way so i feel like this is like you putting you first so that's good all right universe we have four cards but i don't must just okay <laughs> Storyteller, victim, child wounded, mother, advocate, and rescuer. Okay. Also here, I feel like this is more talking about your inner child. This is also talking about subconscious programming. I feel like a lot of you guys are healing at this moment too. Um, so not only healing from emotional 
relationship loss but i feel like you guys are healing like internal like things that happened probably years ago probably during childhood um okay probably healing fixing your relationship with your mother with your father um okay that's what i'm saying i feel like you guys are doing deep um deep healing basically some of you guys are um what's again seeking therapy okay and i feel like it's going to be very beneficial Universe, give me a four card spread. So, in the near future, look for a sign. Universe, give me two more cards. Romance. Universe, give me one more card. Perfect timing if you believe and you're ready. Oh, communicate clearly. Beautiful. So, I feel like with this card here, it's trying to say communicate clearly with the universe. Whatever you want in your next relationship okay the characteristics the treatment all that be very specific because i feel like you are straight up manifesting a beautiful relationship so be very specific don't feel like you can't um, receive that treatment or have a character someone who's in that character have that caliber whatever um the universe wants you to be very specific okay because i feel like you're going to be manifesting a beautiful relationship very very soon and i feel like what you're trying to say with you're ready you're ready because you did the inner work you're not letting situations get the best out of you you're not bitter none of that so it's like you're going to be aligning to authentic love Okay, let's see here. Okay, universe, give me a three card spread. What message do you have for a Capricorn? Age is beauty. I got a lot of cards here. Divine patience. Loving from the inside. Igniting my joy. And I can open the pathway, okay? So I see a lot of you guys again passionate about what you do. So I feel like you're gonna be meeting someone who's very passionate about what they do too. So that's good. So the power of my um, power of self talk. When my self talk is kinder, I'm empowered in my capacity to pursue my dreams and believe in myself. Then it is asking opens a pathway. When I ask questions of my inner being, I be I discover that beautiful and helpful answers always come to me, igniting my joy. I tune to the highest good in myself and others and ignite my natural joy loving from the inside it's a blessing to give myself the gift of my own presence then it's divine patience my souls bring forth the right conditions and opportunities for me the best answers and solutions are delivered at the best time then it is ageless beauty with grace dignity and strength i grow into the unique texture of my feminine soul okay so that's the reading that i have for you capricorns thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing if this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal read with me at queenfrontero at gmail.com.